These are the, um, y'all, I think I may have talked to y'all about this, I'm not really sure. But it's our School of Engineering and Science that we're proposing. We're working on, we'll start two engineering technician programs in the fall of this year, broadband wireless engineering technician, as well as electrical engineering. And we want to have an actual school of engineering. We're working with Barry and High School and Lamb and about also and all three want to start schools of engineering within the high school so we'll have a good feeder program. Uh, the third largest job demand in the, in the world is engineering and engineering technicians. If we have the students trained in this area, we're going to bring the industries to this area. The workforce, I mean, it will come. But we, um, this is our big goal. And y'all don't think it's funny, but this is not funny to me. This is definitely a goal. My ultimate goal in five years is to be a center of excellent broadband wireless for the National Science Foundation. If you accomplish a center of excellence for the National Science Foundation, it brings in tens of millions of dollars to your region because you're do, you're the subject matter expert. There's no way we could. I mean, not many schools are starting broadband programs because it changes before you start. You know, it's a scary thing to start. We're taking that on because we want to be the best in the nation. Uh, we've talked to the service providers. We have the industry with us as partners, and they tell us, um, not locally. I'm talking about nationwide. They tell us 80% of the current landline has to be retrained to wireless, the employees. There's really nowhere for them to do that unless they do it internally. We want them to come here. We already have one, I can't really say the company, but there's a company you know, because you've been at the table with us, that actually is helping us with the million dollars worth of equipment we've got to have for this program. And they are going to, um, they're looking at doing a training center here because we're doing that. And we, we want it to take even further. If we can accomplish this, this is going to be huge and can change the face of our community, and that's our ultimate goal. We want to really do that. So, um, but to be able to apply for something like that is not easy. Let me tell you, those grants are hard. And for our community to have it as a top priority to be the you know, wireless will be critical for us because these companies won't come here without, you know, this level. We well, the chairman has said that this is a top priority, so we're on board with that. <laughs> board members? I would like to switch my hat, if I could, for just a minute. I really appreciate our partner in higher education, Wiregrass, being here, but um, on behalf of VSU and Dr. McKinney, Dr. McKinney and all of his vice presidents are in Athens tonight. What so is Dr. Perrin in there. <laughs> yeah, they're all up there, which is why uh, Angela and I are trying to represent our institutions well, uh, but with Dr. McKinney's permission, I would like to say on his behalf and VSU's behalf that we too believe this is a huge strategic initiative for our community. And we are thrilled that at the meeting you were attended, the, the city, the county, both educational institutions, the industrial authority, everyone there, the hospital for sure, all agree that this had to be a, a significant incentive. So I think every initiative, I think all of us agree, and we're all together, we are going to solve this and, and make this a non-issue. And this is much more than